Hi guys, my name is Bill and what I want to show you today is how to replace the belt on a Maytag Dependable Care Dryer. Alright, so when, once you discover that you have a broken belt, you want to check a few things on your dryer. Now this is going to require disassembling pretty much the whole dryer. Here's the rest of it. Now if you don't know how to get the dryer down to this point, I just made a video on how to you know, basically break this dryer down. You can go ahead, I'll put the link in the description for that. Once you get the dryer taken apart, and after you've discovered you have a broken belt, there's a few things you want to check because there might might have been something inside the dryer that caused the belt to break. So the first thing we're going to check are the rollers, and that's these things on the back here that the tub rides on, and they should spin pretty freely. Now these are a little stiff because they're rusted. This was a, a flooded dryer, so I had to break those free with a pair of pliers, but they would need replaced. These should spin on their own for a couple turns, yeah, and that's how you know they're good. If, if they're pretty stiff like these ones are, that'll cause extra friction on the belt and cause the belt to basically wear out before it needs to. Another common one is the idler pulley, and it should also spin freely with the turn of the finger, and that one there is a little stiff, so you would want to replace that one. It should do a couple turns on its own when you when you spin it you can try cleaning the lint out of them sometimes that works and you know prolongs their life a little bit but those are the major things you want to check right there or you know in some cases the the belt just gets old and gets really cracked up which this one's not even that bad it's got a couple cracks in it but I've seen belts that are basically hanging on by like two ribs and the dryer still spins but they need replaced it'll, it'll just break so once you get the dryer down to this point, I'm going to show you how basically to put the, the drum back in with a new belt and then how to hook the belt back up to the pulleys. Alright, so once you get your new belt, let me show you how to put it how to put it back on. First thing you want to do, slip it around the tub. Make sure the belt's not twisted. And I always like to line it up with the wear marks from the previous belt. So once you got it on the wear marks, keep tension on it, lift it up. And then from this point, you can put it right back in. Now that you got it hooked on the rollers in the back, make sure it's lined up with the, with the wear marks from the old belt and just basically drop it. Now you know it's hanging over top the motor pulley and the idler pulley like it's supposed to. Now this is where it gets tricky. You know, I'm just gonna say right now, but this is the part where once it's hooked on the rollers in the back, you're gonna to have to put your head inside the drum, reach in with two hands, and hook the belt. But I'm gonna show you how to hook the belt up without this here in the way so you can see what you're gonna to have to do without being able to see it. It's, it's a little tricky. This one doesn't have an access panel in the back to where you can get you know, some, some Frigidaires do, some other brands of dryers, they have access panels in the back where you can, you can see what you're doing to hook it up. This one here you're not going to be able to see, so you're going to want to see how it hooks up to the pulley before you have to do it without being able to see it. Alright, so I'm going to do my best to show you how you would hook this up without with holding the camera in one hand and trying to explain to you how to do it with two hands. So, this ought to be interesting. So, I, I've taken the tub out. And this is one side of the belt going down around the tub. This is the other side going down around the tub. I just got it hooked over, over the back here, but I should be able to do this. Now, in a perfect world, the belt has dropped down exactly where it's supposed to go. Now, if you pay attention, you reach in through the hole under the drum with your left hand, grab this pulley, and pull it this way. Now, you're gonna. this is what you're gonna wanna do when you bring your right hand in. So you're going to hold that over, and then with your right hand, you're basically going to take this, push it down the, this side of the pulley, and then you're going to hook it over the motor pulley. And that's what it's going to look like when it's hooked up, and the, and the tub's going to lay right over top. So this is going to go around one side, this is going to go around the other. And that's what it's going to look like when it's hooked up. This is going up one side. That's going up the other side. But you're going to do that two hands at the same time. Left hand reaches under, 
pulls the pulley over because if you don't pull that pulley over the belt's not going to be long enough to hook it over top of the motor and that's why you reach in with your right hand push it down reach it over hook it and then there you go now once you get it hooked up you want to make sure that it, it stays lined up so I always roll it you know clockwise roll the drum slowly clockwise so the belt can do one rotation so when you put it back together and you hit the start button it doesn't pop off because it wasn't perfectly lined up so you want to go ahead and just roll the drum clockwise at least one turn of the belt to make sure that it's lined up you'll be looking on top of the dryer as the belt's going and it may veer off track a little bit come back and then go back on and that's when you can yeah, you know, that's when you can pretty much know for sure that when you hit the start button after you put this back together, the belt's not going to pop off. If you don't do that, you run the chance of the belt popping off. So you always want to rotate the drum after you get that hooked up. All right, guys, there you go. That's how you replace the belt on a Maytag Dependable Care Dryer. I want to thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos, and good luck on your repair.